Family, friends, and colleagues in the medical profession celebrate life of the patriarch of the Lumidi family, Professor Afolabi Lumidi. Professor Afolabi was given a befitting burial by his children. The well-attended events held to herald his farewell from this realm were wholly in compliance with the COVID-19 protocols. He was a Nigerian academic and medical surgeon, best known for being the pioneering vice chancellor of Lagos State University, a position he held from 1983 to 1988. Born in 1936, Professor Falabi attended CMS Grammar School, Lagos, and Igbobi College, Yaba, Lagos, between 1947 to 1953. He later proceeded to the University of Ibadan. He worked as a professor of surgery at the College of Medicine, University of Lagos, between 1979 to 1996, and later as a consultant surgeon and chief of surgery, Jeddah, Gulf of Goriath Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The burial ceremony began with a Christian wakeup at Musan Center, Unicorn, Lagos. In attendance were former Commissioner of Commerce and Industry, Otsumba Bimbo Ashiru, Ogun State and Vice Chancellor, Lagos State University, Professor Lanrewa Jufagbonho. The next day, all roads led to the Cathedral Church of Christ, Marina, Lagos, for a grand funeral service where the remains of the deceased, conveyed by ebony undertakers, arrived amidst drumming and dancing. The solemn service, which flowed seamlessly, was conducted by dedicated Cathedral Church of Christ, Marina Lagos. It commenced with the usual processional hymn, followed in quick succession by Bible readings, before the sermon was delivered by Most Reverend Ulushego Adeyemi. He described Professor as a virtuous man, a good father, and a worthy Christian. The remains of a deceased was taken from the Church of Ebony Vault and Gardens, Ikoi, where the body of the late Professor Afolabi Ulumidi was committed to Mother Earth. In the body of the heavenly kingdom, we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, one without end. Amen. Lord, you have been a dwelling place throughout all generations. You turn people back to dust, say, return to dust, you mortals. Yet you sweep people away in the sleep of death. They are like the new grass of the morning. Thessalonians 4, verse 13 to 18. Believers who have died. Brothers and sisters, we do not want to be uninformed about those who sleep in death, so that we do not grieve like the rest of mankind. We have, who have no hope, for we believe that Jesus died and rose again. And so we believe that God will bring Jesus to those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, the, with the voice of the archangel, with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. We have a building from God, an eternal house in heaven, not built by human hands. Meanwhile, we groan, longing to be clothed instead with our heavenly dwelling. Because when we are clothed, we will not be found naked. For while we are in this tent, we groan and are burdened, because we do not wish to be unclothed, but to be clothed instead with our heavenly dwelling, so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life. What is your vision for Nassim? Uh, first of all, I thank you. And I want to thank the Lagos State Governor, Alhaji Latif Jakande, for entrusting this vision into my hands. 
You see, as the first VC of last, my mission is to make sure that last grows excellently. Because I tell you the truth, the task to make last the best is one that must be done. Thank you very much. What's your surgeon, sir? Sir, you were surgeon. Sir. <laughs>
risen in his sight, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Amen. The Lord bless us and give us his peace. And may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercies of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Well, we, we celebrate the departure of um, a very special uncle and um, Balongo of our family, a patriarch, my father's, my late father's best friend forever and uh, I know they are together. My father was an amazing man, really exceptional as you can see. I mean all I can do is give all the glory to God. He died a patriarch and I know for certain that he's in heaven. He's a very refined, dignified and very respectable person. He stood very tall. He was a man Men. Knowing that he was there, having time for you, listening to you, talking to you, asking you questions, causing you to reflect on your life, think about what you want to do, accommodating, very sacrificial on his part because he took a decision, even while we were growing up, to go ashore to give us a better life. Oh, my dad. Well, first of all, he's the, the greatest leader I know. He's my uh, best friend. He's the one who really, really stood up for me, gave me a lot of confidence in myself, helped me to be the best version of myself I can be. So that's what, that's what he is, and that's who he is to me. Yeah. Very remarkable man, and I guess when people die, most people say that out of, you know, perfunctionally. But really, he was indeed uh, a gentleman. He was an outstanding person.